This video brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop. Com. Sonic with a K. <laughs> Hip hop and urban media production for the Liberty community. Vids, graphics, top quality tunes. The humble Riddler Report can't even begin to do justice to their quality, so check them out where they are. Sonic Hip Hop. Com. Sonic with a K. <laughs> Rich Paul Travesty Trial. Here are some thoughts. As usual, they may be thoughts you won't hear anywhere else. Now, I feel guilty for not covering this more, but I always feel I have to have something up to offer, or something to offer up, before I offer up a story, a commentary, a video, anything. It's taken me a while to come up with some relatively unique thoughts. It's important, though, that we not let our response to this act of aggression be a flash in the pan especially if Rich gets serious time. We need to turn this into something the authorities will not want to create again. One obvious idea would be a series of recurring protests at any prison Rich might wind up in. The usual letters are helpful, of course. I tried inviting about 200 folks to Liberty events that were occurring over the next, next week, uh, mostly Rich Paul-related events. On, uh, I used my Facebook calendar, and I think that's a really powerful way to weigh in on events that you're not going to be at in person necessarily. Just invite a bunch of your friends to Liberty events that are already happening. And it doesn't have to be related to Rich Paul. If you just start doing this more often than you did before Rich Paul, then that's a minor victory. Inviting 50 relevant nearby people to a Liberty event in New Hampshire is just as good as being there yourself, since one of the 50 will likely attend. I heard that FBI agent Phil Christiana has an office in New Hampshire, so a peaceable protest outside that office might be appropriate. The most effective thing I can think of, though, is probably trying to draw the mainstream media's attention to the fact that the Fibbies used a New England bomb guy on a marijuana trial while the bomb guys were in demand for an actual bombing. If you could get that into the Union Leader or the National Telegraph, it might go viral to the Huffington Post or something. Heck, you might be able to send it straight to the Huffington Post. Again, I'm doing some of these things, but if I did even half of them, then I wouldn't be doing my job. Another option, initiating a pardon process. If a home defense guy like Ward Byrd could get his sentence commuted in front of a left-leaning governor, surely a marijuana guy has a shot at getting a better sentence in front of the current and I think better left-leaning governor. It's possible that some sort of legislative retaliation would be appropriate against perpetrating bureaucracies here. It hasn't heavily been explored by our bunch, but a petition for redress slightly similar to the one Jack Kimball and John Heichel filed against reps who voted for repealing Stand Your Ground I'm not saying it should be exactly like that. It shouldn't have any taxpayer expense associated with its success, I would hope. But the petition for redress process still happens in the State House, and those guys were able to get a great deal of attention for their concerns, uh, in their case by posing, you know, you know, uh, proposing a petition that would have members arrested, members of the House arrested for voting against self-defense rights. Again, I don't support doing that because an arrest would cost taxpayer dollars, but they've proven that the petition process can still be effective. And I should correct myself, they weren't just proposing it, they did go through with a petition. Usually the legislative thing to do is to have a bill proposed, a bill come forward that removes whatever power the authorities use to hurt us. And of course, that's kind of already underway every two years with the marijuana decrim bills. Maybe just more Backing for those bills would do the trick. I've heard the term snitch bandied about on Free Talk Live, but I don't know that the snitch has ever been named. Maybe that person needs to be named? A protest outside such a person's workplace might be appropriate. Would it be appropriate outside his or her home? You decide. Again, I think a lot depends on how hard Rich is punished. If he gets a year of probation and no time in jail or something like that, I'm not sure that extreme escalation is really something that would be appropriate. 
In fact, I'm not sure extreme escalation is ever appropriate, but the degree of escalation should be set by the degree of suffering. Those are the ideas I have off the top of my head for constructive action in reaction to this crisis. If you go to uh, RidleyReport.com, my YouTube page there, it almost always has a link to dozens of general action options. So just click that link and you'll get additional ideas. Those ideas are always at your disposal for action, regardless of location. This Ridleyo brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop. Sonic with a K.